Hello and welcome. My name is Jerry with Walmart World. In this video, we're going to talk about our product code WMW-ART32. This how-to video shows you how to attach the adapter plate to the back of the TV. Alright, now when you open your box, you're going to get a bag of bolts. They're varying they're from small to large and from shorter to longer in the kit. You're going to get two vertical rails. You're going to have shorter ones and longer ones. Move these to the side for the video for now. Then you're going to get the, the vessel, the adapter plate. Now, on back of the TV, you want to locate, just kind of lay this out kind of square to the back. You want to locate your four TV mounting holes. They're right here. The next thing you want to do is determine the hole depth. Because the last thing you want to do is put too long of a bolt into the back of the TV and when you tighten it down it actually protrudes inside ruining your TV. So in that bag I'll take like my, my longer size bolts to start with and I'll finger tighten them down just like this. Now I notice that this one stops about an inch too long. Now in my bag I would start backing up. If that one was too long and just kind of say I was about that much too much sticking out, I would kind of come in here and find the one to be closest to it. Also, or forget, now some TVs, because of inputs on the back, you may have to put a spacer. And what that means is you'll have a spacer here, and then your arm would go like this on top of it. You know, once again, if you're doing that, you got to make sure that you get the correct screw, the right length. Now with the shorter bolt that I found in the bag, when I finger tighten it, like I say, do it with finger first, it's barely got a little bit of a, a gap sticking up, which is perfect because I got a rail that's thick. All right, next, you take your vertical rails with the holes toward the top of the TV and slots toward the bottom. Slide them onto the horizontal rails, both sides. Next, you'll line them up with the four holes. We're not tightening them up just yet, just getting them started. Remember, don't cross thread your bolts, whatever you do. Okay, I got them finger tightening some. Now you want to kind of center your plate between the two arms. So I'm going to look at my slots and my grooves and I'm just going to kind of look where I get it kind of even. All right, once that looks pretty good right there, pretty square. Now if you had to, for your TV, if you had to shift it over a little bit based on uneven walls or whatever, you may could slide it some. But you know, you may have to readjust your roll on your TV if you do that because it may be heavier to one side or the other. Next, you got your slider. The flat part is going to be facing toward you. You're going to slide it in the horizontal rail, go across, and line it up. In the bag, you're going to have four small screws that are just for this part. It's Phillips head. Remember, flat side toward you up. Sometimes you want to, just slide the screwdriver along it. So you get it lined up. These sliders keep the TV from sliding off the rails when mounted. Just for all four. And it don't matter whether you use the outer hole, the inner hole, the outer hole, it does not matter. The only time that would come into play is if you was putting the rail toward the outer edge, you'd want to use the outer hole. But inside the back part does not really matter. We got these tightened down. Next, I'm going to come back, tighten up my bolts in the back of the TV. 
again, snug it down. Because this is holding your TV on the mount. That's your last step is to tighten these up. Remember, tighten it up, turn it clockwise. All right, and there you have it. Our adapter plate is attached to the back of the TV, and we're ready. The next step in another video will be attaching this to the end of the arm because you'll use these four threaded holes on the plate to attach to the arm. There's some screws that go in there. That'll be in another video. Again, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you got any questions or comments, contact us at sales at walmartworld.com. Again, my name is Jerry, and I'd like to thank you.